Hey everyone, my name is Peyton, and in this video I'm going to be going over my stylized ground material pack that I recently released on the Fab Marketplace. I will link it down below as well, just in case you're interested in checking it out. But this video, of course, is basically just going over everything that it has, how to use it, etc. So yeah, let's go ahead and get started. So to start off uh, down here, you'll see that uh, once you add it to a project or so, it'll come in as the ground materials uh, folder and all. Uh, this is actually going to have everything that you kind of need from this pack, of course. Uh, if we double click on that and actually open it up, you're gonna see that it's broken down into a couple more files. There's the maps, which is of course this map here. Uh, we're going to have the overall material uh, overview where you can see just a variety of sort of so showcases as well as just like examples of the materials um, being used and everything in an environment. Uh, additionally, in here, we have our actual materials themselves. So we have a main kind of like master material. Uh, it's set up pretty advanced with a lot of like uh, just overall like variables and um, parameters set up. So then what you'll find down here is there'll be uh, quite a few instances of that. And some of those instances just really come down to like if you're wanting to change out a certain material or so. Um, and so yeah, it's really just great to be able to set up one and then you can really go in and sort of like click on one of these and then you have the ability to change stuff like the contrast, the tiling amount, uh, specific actual texture maps as well. And yeah, that's basically what, um, you know, makes it where it's easy. Uh, you can add this to a project, don't have to make whole new shaders and everything inside of Unreal and yeah, use some of these as well. So um, additionally, these are all set up with vertex blends so we can kind of go through that in a second. Um, but just to wrap up the folder structure and everything, Going over to models, the main things you're gonna see here is we have our ground plane, which is what you can just see here is like the test sort of ground planes uh, that we're using for the demo uh, map. And then additionally, you have two grass assets that were uh, like included as well. You can see them here, uh, have this sort of clump that's being used along the edge. And then we have a, another nice one that's being used uh, for more of the like kind of full volume area there. But very simple, just set up with a, a basic sort of material as well, going for like a stylized look. Um, it's a little bit more rounded and everything. But yeah, that's included with the materials as well, so you get that with the pack. Uh, and then, of course, last is the textures. So you get all of the targas um, with the, uh, the pack itself. Uh, these are, I believe, 26 of them. Um, and you basically have your base color, your AO, your height, uh, your normal, and your roughness. Uh, additionally, I think there is like one or two uh, masks, maybe. I think it's just one mask, but uh, that's being used for, yes, yeah, some other sort of options with some of the cobblestone. But um, yeah, that's basically the folder structure that is in here uh, throughout the materials. And then when it comes down to the actual materials themselves. So um, starting off over here, we have a grass material, just a simple sort of like stylized grass material. You have a grass sort of rock dirt combination here, which is great for sort of the like transition blend phase of a material. Uh, additionally, we have a cobblestone. So this is sort of a ground cobblestone with some rocks and everything in it. Uh, and then also we have a rock dirt uh, kind of combination here. So there's really nice sort of like small rock pebbles uh, and as well as like a dirt underneath that. And then this is just a basic sort of dirt uh, itself with some rocks as well, but it's a bit smoother. Uh, so yeah. That's basically the five main materials that you're getting uh, with this pack. And with that, uh, as I said, there's a couple of sort of setups over here to show some examples of them being used. Uh, the first one over here, of course, is using a mixture of some of the, uh, the grass, the rock, and the simple dirt. Um, then this one is being used with the, uh, the cobblestone, the rock, and the simple dirt. And all of these, like I said, are being used with the instancing. So uh, it has one uh, sort of like mass of material. And then these are uh, instances of those where I'm just switching out uh, that. And then this one, of course, is just the simple dirt, uh, the rock, and then also the grass underneath it. So I think this is a great kind of 
representation of it actually being used more so in a level. Uh, you know, these are more flat sort of grounds. Um, and then here as well, just sort of did like an open pit of dirt and all, um, and basically showing off, like, yeah, like what it could happen here. Um, and also I did have this sort of like puddle uh, feature just added into the material. Uh, so that's also sort of included just to show like basics of like how you could set up um, like a puddle and even be able to do stuff like if I went into the material here, I can change the puddle color um, pretty easily. So just using this, I can change the puddle color and yeah, just being able to have some of those controls with the, uh, the instances and all. But um, yeah, I guess real quick what I can show is additionally, if you're wanting to change out any of these things at any point, it's very easy um, whether you make a new instance. Uh, so if I were to make a new instance here, I can go and actually find the main uh, master. Uh, one thing that I did want to sort of like, uh, yeah, show as an example between the two is one of them is the this one here, uh, right over here. Uh, this is the ground dirt uh, grass master. So it's going to be all of these here. Um, and then this one over here is the parallax. So these back here are actually having parallax set up. So you can see that it's doing a little bit of a bump also. So just added that into the material. Um, but I wanted to show you yeah, some sort of variance where you had some height uh, working back there also. But um, yeah, going over back over here, what I wanted to just quickly show so if I right click on this and create a material instance um, and I can just name it, I'll just leave it at what it's at at the moment and double click on that. Of course, like I said, it's going to basically just by default um, have nothing enabled, but this is really nice because then you can sort of come in here uh, just looking through here and be able to just control everything that you want. Um, and yeah, really like this just setup in general because you're able to, um, you know, control things that you want, but also leave things alone if not be, um, just, yeah, basically the, the parameter setup is, uh, nice in my opinion, I would say. Um, but yeah, this one was actually the wrong one. I was wondering real quick why some of the stuff was missing. Um, but the main ground dirt grass over here, if I create a material instance, you'll see that it has quite a few more features because the parallax then, um, I didn't set up the like vertex and all with that one. But with this one, we have our different materials. So if I wanted to just really quickly apply this here, you'll see that, yeah, there's some just default kind of like base settings on it. But what I can do really quickly is I can adjust the tiling amounts uh, to these. So I can go in here, crank that up. Um, and the reason why it was so large on that is because this isn't set up to like uh, like world align or anything. Um, so the actual UVs of the square are like pretty large. So what I need to do, at least for this instance, is just um, adjust the tiling amount. That way it's properly showing up a bit better uh, for us over here. But yeah, just really quickly, we already have, you know, fixed that. A um, couple of other features that I did offer is you can adjust the grass undercolor. So this is sort of the in-between um, between like the, the grass and whatever's uh, on top or underneath it. Um, what I like about this is sometimes, yeah, just being able to ground the grass a little bit more uh, with maybe something like some slight tint. I think can be really nice, even if it's very minuscule, something like this can be great for like, yeah, sort of that, like that buildup of a darker tone, especially where like people walk, um, or yeah, something travels, it might be a little bit lighter because of that kick up. And then on the sides, maybe, uh, some of that sort of like sediments built up a little bit more, um, if that makes sense. So, but yeah, all of these, uh, you can also adjust the, uh, actual, like contrast um, of them. So let me, okay, there we go. So yeah, these are the contrasts. It might be a little bit harder to see for some of these, but um, this is the, the grass one. So we can see that strength there. Uh, and then this one I believe is for some of the uh, stones, which yeah, we can see 
if we go down here, it's kind of moving fast through this, but um, can adjust the contrast, make it sharper, lighter, so uh, whatever you're kind of feeling. But what's nice about all of that, of course, is that's all vertex painting. So uh, what we can do now is if I were to go up here to my selection mode, change over to mesh paint, uh, and actually go to the paint itself, I have some different channels. So there's red, green, blue, um, and you can basically, I think this might be some slight, yeah, puddle uh, left over. So from, let me paint that out. But when we switch between these, I can do my red, which is my stone here. And then my green, of course, is my grass. So I have that set up. And then blue is, uh, right now it's set up for the, the puddle and that would probably need to be adjusted color wise. Uh, so it's much lighter. Oh yeah, right now it's set to almost a black. Um, but yeah, could adjust that. And then you'll also find that I have the puddle contrast and the puddle roughness. So if you're wanting to um, adjust those a bit more, get some like lighter values on it, uh, that can be nice for your puddles. But going to go ahead and paint that back out real quick. There we go. But like I said, if you uh, at any point, let's say we don't want to change uh, one of these things over to a different material, uh, you can very easily just double click on this, go and find which specific material that you want to change. So this is like the grass, this is the, um, the stone, and then this is the underneath one. Uh, and then you can just actually checkbox those on. Then I can go and find the texture that I maybe want to throw in there. And let's say that I want to do this one. So I could just grab that, grab this one as well. I'm going to grab the normal. I want to make sure I'm getting the right one. And then see my roughness. So now you can see that, yeah, we're getting a bit more of that variation in there. Um, and we're, instead of having the, uh, the actual, like just kind of flatter uh, dirt that we had previously, now we have an actual sort of like, um, like the, the other variant that I have, which is like the, the grass sort of weeds mixed with the dirt. Um, but yeah, then of course, like some of these things are set up with different contrasts and all. So sometimes, yes, like later, uh, once you've sort of set that up, you might have to come back through and um, do secondary passes with uh, some of your like painting and getting it to work a little bit better with each other. But yeah, that's sort of the, the main stuff with uh, the actual like project itself, um, all the files that you sort of get. Like I said, there's quite a few more things. Uh, a couple of other like features actually added into the materials themselves as well that you can do. Um, just really being able to like control yeah, some of that contrast and um, all of that, as well as even like height for some of the, uh, the blends but um, yeah, beyond that, at least like this is the the main just sort of culmination of like the advanced materials that you're getting, as well as the five materials, 26 textures, and um, all of that sort of set up already for you. So yeah, uh, of course, this is just quick example of some of the possibilities, but I would imagine that you could definitely find uh, a lot of avenues to expand this much further and take it to your own liking. If you like what you saw in this video, of course, uh, you can go down to the description and find the link to actually get this from the Fab Marketplace. Like I said, it is just a stylized ground material pack. I have some similar like it as well, but this is just a great addition to any projects, especially if you're doing stylized, to be able to have a lot of those ground materials that you're kind of looking for. So yeah, if you enjoyed this video as well, feel free to like and subscribe, and I will be making more videos similar to this as well as my other tutorials that you see more on the regular. So yeah, thanks for hanging out, and I'll see you next time.